Hare Krishna. Let's look at some quotes of Bhakti Vinod Thakur today on the occasion of his sacred day. Because of the power of Maya, a soul residing in the material world imagines that she is male. In the understanding of pure spirit, Krishna is the only male and all others are female. In spirit, there is no sign of material male or female. If one intently meditates on this rasa, one can become qualified to become a gopi in Vraja. A person who yearns to attain Madhurya Ras will become qualified to become a gopi in Vraja. By repeatedly desiring in this way, one attains that perfection. So, this is a very confidential secret of Gaudiya Vaishnavism which Bhaktivinoda Thakur is highlighting here that there is transcendental gender beyond the bodily gender and just as we identify with the body and that is a misconception similarly we project our bodily gender on the divine couple and thus for example a young couple may go to Radha Krishna temple and they look at the divine couple there and they think oh, we are also a nice couple here now of course marriage is an important institution in this world and to seek the blessings of the Lord so that that union can be sanctified is important and certainly it's desirable at the same time we have to recognize that uh, we are not males or females now, to think of ourselves as a physical male is an illusion but to think of ourselves as a physical female is also an illusion the soul is prakriti now prakriti is sometimes translated as nature sometimes it's translated as energy so it depends on what context is being used to illustrate this point that if we are referring to the fact that prakriti comes from krishna then it is the energy of krishna but when we are talking about prakriti as something which we are surrounded by something which we are situated in then so from our perspective you can say prakriti is nature then you can use also we have the word swabhava for that so it may not be very easy to change our prakriti uh, but what is our position as prakriti that is we are we are the energy of krishna and energy krishna as the energetic is may considered may and and all of us as energetic are energies are considered female so now now all souls who are actually females can have different forms some male some female now here i'm talking about forms in the spiritual world so let's try to understand this hierarchy clearly now so there is there is the transcendental world then there is the impersonal world there is the transcendental personal world the impersonal world and then there is the material personal world so in the material personal world we identify ourselves as as per our gender body and our bodily gender and then we are attracted to each other based on the bodily gender now when we go towards spiritual realization at the impersonal level we recognize our distance from our body and our bodily gender of course and thus we conceive ourselves as spirit so here we may not have a clear conception of our own personality or for that matter the personality of the divine now, but so the transcendental perfection exists far beyond this so because of maya we may think of ourselves as souls and because of maya we may think of ourselves as bodies now is it to thinking of ourselves as souls maya Yes, if we think that the soul is simply spirit and that we merge into the infinite, infinite, infinite spirit, then that is not exactly considered to be a very elevated or exalted understanding. What we need to do is recognize that we are souls who are parts of Krishna and to understand our spirituality without understanding our connection with the divine our position relationship with this divine that forgetfulness of our relationship with the divine is the essence of maya that forget forgetfulness can happen when we are in material consciousness or that forgetfulness can happen even when we are in apparent spiritual consciousness 
that vidyad atmano maya yatha bhasu yatha tamaha that to think of ourselves as separate as being separate from krishna is the essence of illusion and that illusion can be overcome if we move toward krishna progressively in love so to think of ourselves of uh, of ourselves as males or females is illusion to think of ourselves as neuter genderless particles or sparks of spirit that is also illusion to understand ourselves as the energy of krishna as the parts of krishna that is the highest understanding and that is the understanding that we all seek we all strive for and bhakti vinod thakur is a vital acharya in our tradition who has given us this understanding by his exposition of gaudi vaishnava siddhanta for the contemporary times he is the acharya who brought about an intersection between the traditional presentation of gaudi vaishnavism and the contemporary world with its rational and uh, modern outlook so this quote also reflects that point many of the quotes of bhakti vinod thakur are very deeply spiritual he is either revealing the highest spiritual truths or he is outlining the path that will help us to gain that revelation and realization of the highest truth so now in this quote he is giving us both primarily is giving the path but he is also giving us the uh, purpose of the path so what is he doing you know there is a, if we consider today's world feminism is very popular and the, to use the word she for a soul is very striking it is using that and that to think that to, sh- to think that she is male that's uh, nowadays there is this whole idea of transgender so some people those who are transgender they try to claim their rights you know we should be accepted in society for the way we are yes the important thing is that we accept ourselves for who we are and we are not our bodies now our bodily conditions and conditioning may be in particular ways and they have to be expertly handled so that we can rise beyond bodily consciousness so we have we don't need to be transgender we need to transcend gender so we don't have to transform our gender we need to transcend our gender that means we need to go beyond our body and go beyond our bodily conception till we attain transcendence and when we attain transcendence over there that is when we recognize that the lord is all attractive and that to be attracted to him is what our constitutional nature is and we can seek the blessings of great soul like bhakti no thakur that he as he says over here if we can internalize the mood of rindavan of deep absorption in our all attractive lord and by that mood we can rise away from bodily consciousness towards spiritual consciousness and become eternally absorbed in all attractive krishna we can now in our tradition it is primarily that we are worshiping in the mood of radharani in separation from krishna so it's a madhurya bhav and in his jaiva dharma in shiksha chaitanya shiksha ashtakam he outlines the process by which one can rise to such a higher exalted level of realization and if we try to do that we will definitely it may take us long time it may take us short time that depends on the grace of the lord coming through his great devotees but we can always be on the progressive path and our mind needs to needs we need to remind our mind that such a glorious destination awaits us and whatever are the trivial pleasures of the world is offering they are insignificant when compared to what the lord offers us in his personal abode so let us pray to bhakti no thakur that we can internalize the deep attraction to krishna that he embodied and that we can become deeply devoted to the process of bhakti yoga as given by lord chaitanya mahaprabhu by which we all can become elevated uh, and become absorbed one day in love for krishna thank you it's 12 o'clock